CIET NCERT presents the audio book Purvi Textbook of English for grade 6 Page number 93 Unit 3 Nurturing Nature Chapter 3 Spices that heal us Let us do these activities before we read 1 A spice is any seed, fruit, root, bark, leaf or any other part of a plant used to give taste and color to our food. Try to recall the names of 3 spices that are used for cooking in your home. Write them and share your answers with your teacher. A dash B dash C dash fill in the blanks. Two. On the bottom of this page, pictures of some spices are given. Work in pairs and write what you call them in your language. Their names in English are given in the last column. Share your answers with your teacher. There's a box at the bottom of this page with four headings: serial number, spice, name in your language, name in English. One. turmeric 2 fenugreek 3 cumin seeds 4 asafoetida 5 cinnamon 6 clove 7 ginger 8 black pepper 9 fennel seeds 10 cardamom now write the name of these spices in your language in the blank spaces page number 94 3 Do you know if these spices can be used for something else other than cooking? Let us find out by reading this letter. Dear Vikram and Vaibhavi, Namaste. I just got your message that you are better now. I'm happy that the natural cures that I had shared helped you. You should try to remember these cures and may share them with your friends. When I was a child I learnt them from my grandmother she used to find home remedies for most of the weather related common illnesses let me share some of the benefits of the spices that most of us have in our kitchen let me start with haldi which is called turmeric in english it helps in improving our energy level and digestion it helps in reducing body pain too next Let us take methi which is called fenugreek in English. You will be surprised to know that it helps me in keeping my sugar level and my body weight in control. I need to soak the methi seeds overnight and drink the water in the morning. Jeera cumin seeds soaked in water overnight can also improve digestion and help cure sleeplessness. You know When you were babies and had gas in your tummy, I used to put heeng, that is asafoetida water on your tummy to give you some relief. Heeng can also help in controlling cough and cold. Dalchini, cinnamon and long clove give relief when we have toothache till we can consult a dentist. Adrak, ginger is another herb that can help us when we have cough and cold. It also gives relief from pain. Do you know ginger has been used for cooking for more than 4000 years. Even today it is extensively used in cooking Indian food. Kali mirch, black pepper is also helpful in digestion and can give us relief from body pain. You may have seen that at the end of a meal sauf that's fennel seeds and ajwain carom seeds are served. It is because they help in the digestion of food. Elaichi cardamom also helps us with digestion and respiratory troubles in addition to curing bad breath. Now, go to the kitchen and try to identify these herbs and spices and remember, you must consult an elder before you use them. My love and aashirwad to both of you. Yours affectionately, Dadi. page number 95 let us think and reflect 
One, read these lines and answer the following questions. When I was a child, I learnt them from my grandmother. She used to find cures for most of the weather-related common illnesses in the kitchen. A. Where exactly in the kitchen did her grandmother find the cures? B. Give one example of weather-related common illnesses. C. What kind of relationship did the speaker have with her grandmother? 2. Fill in the blanks to complete the sentence. Dadi soaked methi seeds overnight and drank the water in the morning to manage dash and dash. 3. Circle the spice that is not useful for body pain according to Dadi's letter. A. Turmeric B. Ginger C. Fennel seeds D. Black pepper 4. Why did Dadi ask Vikram and Vaibhavi to share the natural cures with their friends? 5. What was Dadi's final advice to Vikram and Vaibhavi? 6. How do we know that natural cures are passed from one generation to another? 7. Why do you think we should know about the healing properties of spices? Page number 96 Let us learn. 1. You have read the uses of spices in the letter. Complete the following table with the help of your teacher. You may use the words from the box. In the box is written part of the plant, root, bark, leaves, flower birds, fruit, seeds, texture, rough, soft, silky. Taste, bitter, sweet, sour, salty, spicy. Now there is a table given here with six columns. Spice, name, part of the plant, colour, texture, taste. In the first column, the pictures of the spices are given. 1. Turmeric 2. Fenugreek 3. Cinnamon 4. Clove 5. Black pepper 6. Cardamom Now you have to fill rest of the columns by using the words given in the box before. 2. Read the sentences given. You may share them with your friends. You should try to remember these cures. It can help to control cough and cold. You must consult an elder before you use them. I need to soak the methi seeds overnight. I used to put hing water on your tummy. Page number 97 A. The words given in column A are helping words. Match the helping words in column A with their functions in column B. Column A helping verbs 1. May 2. Should 3. Can 4. Must 5. Need to 6. Used to Column B functions A. Past habit B. Suggestion C. Compulsion D. Advice E. Ability F. Necessity The helping verbs in column A are called model verbs or models. Each model verb has a different function. B. Complete these dialogues with any four models from the table given. Use a model only once. Ajay, Anand had fever last week. He, one, dash, take good rest. Suman, yes, he, two, dash, or he will fall ill again. Ajay, he, three, dash, take grandmother's natural cures. Suman, yes, we, four, dash, remember how effective they are. 
page number 98. Let us listen. You will listen to the benefits of Tulsi or holy basil, a common herb. As you listen, complete the fact sheet given here. Refer to page number 102 for transcript. On the top of this page, a fact sheet is given with the title, The Wonder Herb. On the left-hand side, there's a column with the heading, Name. And in front of it, there are two columns with the name, Tulsi and Family 1. Dash. First found in 2. Dash. Now found everywhere in India, known as the 3. Dash of herbs, can decrease levels of 4. Dash and cholesterol, used to treat disorders of breathing and 4. Dash is used to make mouthwash and 5 dash. We can have tulsi leaves by eating them, 7 dash, or adding them while making 8 dash. Let us speak. 1. Dadi told Vikram and Vaibhavi about many spices. Choose one spice and introduce yourself as that spice to the class. 2. Before you speak, make a spicy headband for the spice you chose. Follow these steps. Cut out strips of a paper 2 inches wide. Join two ends to make a band that can fit your head. Make a small card with a picture of a spice. Colour it. Attach the card on your headband. Page number 99 Use the headband while introducing yourself as the spice. 3. Mention the following while speaking. Your name, colour, taste, part of the plant, texture, benefits. Let us write. 1. Vikram's grandmother shared two natural cures to cure his cuff in her earlier letter. It was kept outside and a few drops of rain fell on it. Some of the words got washed away by the rain. Help Vikram complete the natural cures. Use the phrases given in the box. There are two phrases that you do not need. There's a box on top of this page with some important information. Some leaves of basil. The mixture. You can have it. For cough, for high fever, grind to get, amount of honey, a piece of fresh ginger, home remedy. Natural cures for cough. A. To prepare this home remedy, you just need ginger and honey. First, take, dash, grate it and take the juice from it. Take about two teaspoons of this juice and add about two and half teaspoons of honey to it. Mix it properly. Warm, dash, slightly on very low heat for a minute. Then, dash, about three to four times a day to get relief from cough. Have patience to see the effect as natural cures, dash, with ginger and honey might take some time to show results. B. To prepare the second, dash, for cuff, take about 10 grams of each long pepper, dried ginger and basil leaves. Add 4 to 6 small cardamoms and, dash, a fine powder. If you take this powder with an equal dash, it will give you relief from cuff. Page number 100 2. Now, write a short paragraph on Tulsi based on the completed fact sheet in Let Us Listen. Let us explore. 1. Now that you have read about many spices, can you guess the spices based on the riddles given below? A. When your tummy felt funny, 
I was used by your granny. I made you fit and fine and brought back your smile. Who am I? Dash. B. I come from under the ground. Thousands of years I've been around. For cooking, you use me daily. From cold, I can cure you surely. Who am I? Dash. 2. Fill in the blanks to complete the riddle. Write another riddle of your own and ask your family members to guess the spice. A. Brownish, dash, in colour and dash, to taste. I help everyone to dash their weight. Who am I? Answer, Fenu Greek or Methi. B. Dash, 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 dash. Fill in the blank. 3. Close your eyes and learn about spices by smelling and feeling them. The teacher may also provide a few different spices to try. Page number 101. Transcripts. Let us listen. Refer to page 83. People Baba. Rahul. Ma, have you heard about People Baba? Our teacher told us about him today. Mother. I have not heard about him. Who is he and what does he do? Rahul. He plants trees along with his team. He also started a movement to plant and save trees. Mother. That's wonderful. Where did he get this idea from? Rahul. When he was studying in a school in Pune, his English teacher gave him the idea to plant trees. He was just 11 years old. Mother. How did he plant so many trees all over the country as a child? Rahul. He was born to an army officer's family in Chandigarh and whenever they were moved to a new city, he planted more trees. Mother. But how did he come to be known as People Baba? Rahul. He used to plant people and neem trees as they have many uses for us and told others to do so. So, in the beginning, people made fun of him by calling him People Baba. But he was not bothered and continued to do his work. Now everyone calls him by that name lovingly. Mother. He is really doing great work. We should learn from him and plant more trees. Rahul. Yes, Ma. We must and tell others to do the same. You will listen to the audio or narration once again. As you listen, check your answers. Page number 102 Transcripts Let us listen. Refer to page 90. What a bird thought. I am a parrot. My name is Paro. My feathers are bright and they glow. In the morning, I spread my wings, fly around and see wonderful things. Come with me through the skies so blue to places old and places new. Among the trees where the breeze is light, many new stories. Oh, what a sight! Refer to page number 98. Spices that heal us. The wonder herb Tulsi is a shrub in the basil family. It is said that it was first found in north central India and now grows almost everywhere in India. It is known as the queen of herbs and has many medicinal uses. Studies show that it helps to decrease glucose and cholesterol levels and improve blood pressure. It is commonly used to treat breathing and digestion disorders. As it has antibacterial properties, it is used in herbal hand sanitizers. It is used as a base for making herbal mouthwash and toothpaste for treating bad breath, gum disease and mouth ulcers. Tulsi leaves can be washed and eaten raw. We can also add tulsi leaves when we make tea. 
Tulsi tea helps in dealing with stress as it calms our mind. Tulsi protects us from a vast range of pollutants around us. You will listen to the audio and narration once again. As you listen, check your answers. Purvi, you were just listening to this audiobook. Textbook of English for grade 6. Narration, Babla Kocher and Richa Sayal. Technical coordination, Bati Lang Lingdo. Sound recordist, Manju Kumari. Assistance in production, Soumya Malik. Directed and produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET NCERT, New Delhi, India.